Birdie Putts giving chase in third place, then Tucson Cloud who's trying to pick up, they're starting to kick away from Kura Kura and Baby, still discretion off the front here, back towards the final furlong, Yummy Licious now being drawn out in the centre, comes with a big effort down the near side, back towards the final half furlong they go, Yummy Licious trying to reel in discretion on the far side who's battling away strongly, discretion and Yummy Licious they race up towards the line, that is tight! <laughs> Tidley Tadhold running through into third. Al Manzai has no more to give as the front two draw clear. With just over a furlong to go, Cottesmore fighting back on the inside of Galleon, who has a three parts of a length lead as they race inside the final furlong. The Tidley Tadpole is keeping on in third, but Galleon is steadily getting on top of Cottesmore and ridden out with Hanson Hills. Galleon goes on to score for Robert Winston in the colours of the Majesty of the Queen. Cottesmore. <laughs> looks beaten up inside the final furlong twilight jet on the far side is a big danger to reach for the moon as bayside boy finishes off strongly as well it's a three three-way go bayside boy and reach for the moon bayside boy just But heading down towards the final furlong and a half and the Kingdom of Fife trying to see off the challenge of military power. Ribarolo has now gone into third, then Flipando on the wide outside. Mystery Star runs on with Snoqualmie Boy. But Kingdom of Fife has made all the running and keeps finding more as they head inside the closing stages. Kingdom of Fife being driven clear to go and land the Zeppelin Gold Cup. They bunch up behind Nanton from out of the clouds, grab second. <laughs> Now Tom Marquand getting after Chalk Stream. Away to the right is Barn Owl, and they're being followed by Grantley along the inside, who's trying to respond and chase the dollar a bit outpaced at the moment. Two furlongs left to go. Chalk Stream now really lays it down to Carragillahy and moves on with a furlong and a half to travel. Chalk Stream ahead of Carragillahy with to the outside Barn Owl now racing through into second place, but has got a couple of lengths to find on Chalk Stream and it doesn't look like finding those lengths. Chalk Stream is keeping up the pace here from Barn Owl, who's gone second. Carragillahy back in third, but Tom. Mark Wan will ride his 100th winner of 2021 in the Royal Colours on... Quarter of a mile, Eppolini, purple jacket, the royal runner, topical to the near side, King of Tonga to the far side, every chance for that one, Olivia R's trying to find top gear, they run down towards the last furlong, topical to the near side, just in front of King of Tonga, break then of about three lengths to Olivia R, uh, running a big race, half a furlong left to go, it is topical in front here, the royal colours in front, Tom Mark wants first ride at Thirst Gever, topical the winner, King... And the winners of the Racing UK Extra on RacingUK.com, EBF Novice Stakes Division 1, Topical. Has run some decent races in defeat, but it gets his first win this afternoon. And Tom enjoys his first ride at Thirst. And it's a winning ride, so huge congratulations to Tom. And well done to our winning trainer, Richard Hannon. Gap between her and the leader is three lengths at least over the second last. Shining strand over safely from Brooklyn Brownie. Kimono Royal in third place and can't seem to get into this to land a blow. Common Girl a distant fourth, but the leader coming to the last. Travelling strongly, Shining Strand hit the top bar but lands full of running by five lengths here over Brooklyn Brownie in second place. Kimono Royal is in third and an easy winner here for Sam Thomas for Nick. Nikki Henderson and Her Majesty the Queen here at Weatherby this evening. Shining Strand 
A pretty impressive display. Big One from the right and holding every chance is Stone Mason. On the far right is Spice of Life as they head on down towards the final two furlongs. And it's at this point of the race where Gold Stick goes on, goes for home and opens up quite quickly by a couple of lengths to in second position Stone Mason. From the back, Walk It Talk It is running on quite nicely over towards the inside and in the red colours Australis down the outer. But now with under a furlong left to go, it is Gold Sticks to lose. Gold Stick is in front by the best part of three to four lengths and is safely pulling clear. Australis is now running on to Presto Mason for second place. Uh, but it's a royal winner here at Weatherby and it's Gold Stick for Trader John.